This video takes you through the data collection and processing section of the lab report. The processing of data has been described in other videos, so the focus of this video will be on how the processing is presented in a lab report. If there are any details about the calculations that you would like to clarify, please review the link in the description or ask me in class. The raw data section should be the easiest part of the lab report to get it complete. It is very technical, and if you follow the rules outlined, there shouldn't be any problem. The most common mistakes in this section are with uncertainties and decimal points. All data measured using a given measuring device should have the same number of decimal points, and the uncertainties presented in the raw data table, table should reflect the uncertainty of the measuring device used. Excel often removes zeros from the end of decimal points, but you need to make sure that they are there because they are significant. Qualitative data describing any difficulties or issues that were observed during the experiment must also be included here, as they may prove useful in the conclusion and evaluation section of the report. The data processing section shows how the raw data was manipulated so that a graph of the independent and dependent variables can be created. This includes determining the uncertainty values of the dependent variables and any other calculations specified. This section should read like a journal explaining what was done, why and how. A sample of the calculations carried out is required using any one of the data points. Presenting sample calculations will require you to learn how to use an equation editor. It is not acceptable to do sample calculations by hand or to use a text editor as neither of these are very professional. The result of the data processing section should be a fairly simple table with independent variables, dependent variable, and uncertainties clearly presented. Physics is a very well-established subject, and there are lots of laws and theories that have been derived to explain various concepts and phenomena. The topics chosen for experiments where you'll be writing a lab report generally involve well-established relationships, or relationships where you could fairly easily derive a relationship using the concepts we have covered in class. In the theory section, you will present this research in order to derive a theoretical relationship between your independent and dependent variables. Assumptions may have to be made to get a relationship that can be easily analyzed, and these should be stated explicitly in this section. Any external sources used must be properly referenced using the APA referencing style. The graphical analysis section has been described thoroughly in the videos produced for lessons 1.5 and 1.6. Here are a few points that you should understand and follow as you are making up your lab. Make sure that the graphs are properly labeled and the text on your graphs is legible. The best way to do this is to shrink the window for the graph a bit before you copy it out of Logger Pro. Sample calculations must also be included here using an equation editor. It is sometimes useful to use powers of 10 in the headings in order to make the numbers easier to grasp and compare. Here are some more of the sample calculations. The product of this section should be an equation relating the independent and dependent variables. Don't forget to include the appropriate power on the independent variable, in this case, squared. And finally, you must include a graph that shows the maximum and minimum lines of best fit. This section is evaluated out of six. Aspect one is simply looking at the raw data section, whereas aspect two and three cover the rest of the section. Aspect two is more focused on converting the raw data into a form that can be graphed. Aspect three looks more at how the graph data is analyzed and the relationship determined. Formatting of graphs is also covered in aspect three.